Today, we are unboxing the Banana Pi BPI F3, a powerful RISC V single board computer designed for developers, hobbyists, and tech enthusiasts like us. Let's get started. The Banana Pi BPI F3 is an industrial grade RISC V development board priced at approximately $1.75 on AliExpress. It comes in four different variants offering various RAM and storage configurations to suit your needs. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside, the board is neatly packed in an anti-static bag to protect it from electrostatic discharge. Removing the board from the anti-static bag, we get a first look at the Banana Pi BPI F3. At 148 by 100 mm, it's compact but packed with impressive features. At the heart of the Banana Pi BPI F3 is the Space MIT K1 octa -code processor built on RISC-V architecture. This processor delivers impressive computing power and AI acceleration capable of performing up to 2 trillion operations per second. Its multi-core architecture allows for efficient parallel processing, making it ideal for both AI-driven tasks and processing intensive applications. The board supports DDR4 memory configurations of 2, 4, 8 and 16 gigs, providing flexibility depending on the specific needs of your project. In this version, the board is equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, offering a balanced amount of memory for most development and embedded applications. For storage, the BPF3 comes with multiple eMMC options ranging from 8 to 128 gigs. This version features 16 GB of onboard eMMC storage, which provides faster read or write of speeds compared to traditional SD cards. Additionally, the board supports optional 4 MB SPI No Flash and 32 MB SPI NAND Flash. On board, the BPF3 also features Wi Fi and Bluetooth modules supporting both 2.4 and 5 GHz bands of Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. The antenna connectors for these wireless functions are conveniently located on the board allowing for the connection of external antennas to enhance signal reception and performance. Moving to the front side of the board, you will find a full-size HDMI port which supports up to 1080p at 60 frames per second, making it perfect for multimedia applications or connecting to external displays. Adjacent to the HDMI port are four USB 3.0 ports offering high-speed data transfer for peripherals such as keyboards, mouse or external storage devices. For high-speed networking, the board features dual gigabit Ethernet ports ensuring reliable and fast internet connectivity. This makes the BPI F3 suitable for IoT, NAS or industrial applications that require stable network connections. Next to the Ethernet ports, there is a 12V 3A DC barrel input which serves as one of the main power sources for the board, providing easy access to reliable power. On the top side of the board, there is an earphone jack allowing for audio output which is ideal for multimedia applications. In addition, a micro SD card slot is located near the earphone jack offering expandable storage options that support cards larger than 256 MP. For development and debugging, the BPI-F3 provides several buttons such as Reset, Power and Burn, allowing for easy firmware flashing and system management. Adjacent to these buttons is an LED indicator providing visual feedback during operation. The PCIe interface on the board allows you to install a mini PCIe card such as wireless communication module providing additional expansion capabilities. A boot download select switch is also present for selecting boot modes and performing firmware updates or system recovery tasks. Next is the USB Type-C port, which supports both OTG functionality and serves as an alternative 12V 3A power input, offering flexibility for connecting peripherals or powering the board. On the left side of the board, there are MIPI CSI 1 and optional MIPI CSI 3 ports, designed for camera applications. 
These ports support dual camera setups or enhanced vision projects, making the board ideal for AI vision applications, robotics, or other camera-based tasks. Additionally, the MIPI DSA connector is available for advanced display integration, allowing you to connect high-resolution displays for various multimedia applications. To ensure efficient thermal management during heavy processing tasks, the board includes a fan connector, allowing you to attach an external fan for cooling. For storage expansion, the BPF3 includes 2-pin and 4-pin GST exit SATA power connectors, enabling easy power supply to both 2.5-inch and 3.5-inch HDDs. On the right side of the board, there is a 2-pin header, which can also be used as an alternative power input for the board. For power over Ethernet, the board supports optional RT5400 hat, allowing you to power the board via Ethernet, simplifying wiring and providing a cleaner setup for remote deployments. Additionally, the BPF3 features a 26-pin GPIO header with various alternative functions, including UART, SPI, connections, etc. This makes the board highly versatile for prototyping, industrial control applications, and integration with external sensors, devices, and peripherals. The board is also equipped with a 3-pin UART debug port, providing a convenient interface for debugging and monitoring the system. Lastly, you will find a connector for speakers, supporting audio output for multimedia applications. On the underside of the board, you will find Mic 1 and Mic 2, allowing for easy integration of microphones for audio applications, such as voice recognition or audio processing. The M.2 key M slot is positioned here for expanding the board with SSDs or network cards, significantly enhancing storage capacity or enabling additional networking features. This slot also supports the JMP582 expansion card, which allows you to connect SATA storage devices such as HDDs, providing more storage options for data-heavy applications. Finally, there is a SIM card slot located near the M.2 interface, enabling cellular connectivity when paired with an additional 4G module. This makes the BPF3 suitable for IoT projects, remote sensing, and communication-based applications that require cellular connectivity. Now let's proceed to install an operating system and power on the Banana Pi BPF3. To begin, you can download a Linux-based operating system tailored for the BPI-F3, such as Bianboo, Debian, Ampian, or Fedora. These operating systems are available on the Banana Pi BPI-F3 wiki page, and I have included the link in the description below for your convenience. On the wiki page, locate the specific OS you wish to install. Under each OS name, you will find download links for Baidu Cloud or Google Drive. For this tutorial, I will be downloading and setting up Bianpu OS. Click on your preferred link to download the OS package. Depending on your internet speed, this process may take a few minutes as the OS files are usually several hundred megabytes to a few gigabytes in size. Once the download is complete, the next step is to wipe the OS to an SD card. For this, you will need imaging software. One of the easiest and most popular tools for this purpose is Belena HR. I have provided a link to download Belena HR in the description below. Once the software is installed, open it and you will be greeted with a user-friendly interface. To begin, click on the Flash from File button and navigate to the folder where the OS image you downloaded is stored. Select the file and it will load into Belena HR. Next, insert a microSD card into your computer. Ensure the card has sufficient storage capacity for the OS and is properly formatted. Then click Select Target to choose the correct SD card. Double check this step to ensure you don't accidentally overwrite any other drives connected to your computer. Finally, click the Flash button to start the process. Belena HR will write the OS image onto the SD card. Depending on the file size and the speed of your SD card, this may take several minutes. Once the flashing process is complete, Belena HR will automatically verify the data to ensure the OS was written correctly. After the verification, you can safely eject the SD card. 
it's now ready to be used with your Banana Pi BPI F3. Now, safely eject SD card from your computer and insert it into the micro SD card slot on the Banana Pi. Next, connect the Banana Pi to a monitor using an HDMI cable. Attach peripherals like a keyboard and mouse and if desired a network cable for wired internet access. For power, connect the power adapter to the board and plug it into a wall socket. Press the power button and the board will boot up. If everything has been set up correctly, your monitor should display the Banana Pi logo and proceed to load the operating system. Once the OS is up and running, you will need to configure it for the first time use. On the initial setup screen, you will be prompted to select your preferred language. The interface is straightforward and you can choose your language from the provided list. Next, you will be asked to connect your Wi-Fi network. A list of available networks will appear. Click on the name of your network and a pop-up will request the password. Enter your credentials, click connect and your board will establish a connection to the internet. Following this, you will encounter a prompt about sharing your location with apps. This is optional. You can either enable it by toggling the switch or skip it by clicking skip in the top right corner. In the subsequent steps, the OS will ask for your time zone. You can either select your region from the map or search for your city in the search bar. Accurate time zone settings ensure proper functioning of applications and scheduled tasks. You will then have the option to connect online accounts such as Google, Nextcloud or Microsoft. If you use cloud services or request syncing, this is a convenient way to integrate your accounts into the system. The next step involves setting up your user profile. Enter your full name which will also serve as your username by default. You can modify the username if needed. On the next page, you will then need to set up a password. Ensure it's strong and secure as this will protect your system. After completing these steps, the setup process concludes. Click Start using Bianbu and you will be greeted with the Bianbu OS desktop interface. This version of Bianbu OS is customized for the Banana Pi BPI F3 and includes several pre-installed applications. The OS comes with AI apps like Post Tracker and Object Detection, which leverage the bot's hardware for advanced tasks. These apps require a connected camera to function. The desktop's dock features shortcuts to commonly used apps, while the application menu provides access to all installed programs such as Thunderbird Name, Chromium Browser, and LibreOffice Suite. Upon first use, you might notice a slight delay in opening apps for the first time, but the overall performance remains smooth. Using the System Monitor app, you can check real-time statistics such as CPU, memory, and network usage. The eight cores of the RISC-V processor are efficiently utilized, ensuring consistent performance. With the OS installed and configured, your Banana Pi BPF3 is ready for various development projects, multimedia applications, or AI experiments. Overall, with its robust features and flexible configuration, the Banana Pi BPF3 is a versatile and powerful SBC, perfect for a wide range of applications from NAS and robotics to AI edge computing and industrial control. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.